For almost 30 years, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Environmental Contaminants Database Management System, or ECDMS, has housed contaminant data on fish and wildlife and their supporting habitats. There are now nearly 3 million unlocked records available to Fish and Wildlife Service employees, other government entities, and members of the public. With the Raw Results Data Export feature, accessing this data is easier than ever before. The Raw Results Data Export feature is available through the Wildlife and Environmental Contaminants Mapper at ecos.fws.gov forward slash ECDMS4. You can access the feature by clicking the button labeled Raw Results Data Export in the top right corner of the mapper. The Raw Results Data Export feature can also be accessed through the Environmental Conservation Online System after secure login. The link is located under the ECDMS module. Either path will direct you to a page where you can query the ECDMS database holding for releasable data. It's important to note several factors in which results are not releasable. Data will remain locked through a one-year holding period from the Quality Assurance Approval date, and, for various reasons, a region may choose to extend that data lock period. Data will also be locked pending any reporting that may be underway by the regions. Additionally, data will be locked if part of ongoing litigation, or if part of a check sample used to monitor the performance of contract labs. In the last scenario, the data is available only to the service's analytical control facility. To begin a query, click to open the dropdown and select the desired filter category from the list. All available categories will display. A second field will appear with options associated with the category you've selected. You can scroll through the list until you find the appropriate filter or use the search as you type function. Begin typing and the search narrows. I'll select Least Turn. If necessary, you can change the filter operator from the dropdown. Operators specify how filter criteria relate to one another, and your options here include Is, Is Not, Is At Least, and Is At Most. Executing the search at this point will render all available data concerning the Least Turn within the ECDMS database. You can tailor your search further by adding additional filters. To do this, click the button labeled Add Filter to Group. The procedure begins again. I'll select Analyte Category and enter Organochlorines as an additional filter. Note the AND OR filter controls. These allow greater control in how multiple filter conditions are combined to target specific data. This particular search will render the ECDMS holding for least turn and organochlorines. If necessary, you can add separate filter groups to your search by clicking the button labeled Add Filter Group. Remove any filter group by clicking the associated Remove Filter Group button. Click the Reset Filters button in the top left to begin an entirely new query. Below your search filters, there's an option to enter output fields. Selecting No Output Fields will default to Basic Output. Click the Export Excel button to execute the search and access the data. A dialog box will appear providing Site Exit Notification. Click Leave to proceed. Click Open to view the file. The data will open in Microsoft Excel. By default, the fields are ordered alphabetically. The header row is frozen, but not filtered. You can sort or filter the results in Excel, if you wish. This report may contain more information than you need. Remember, output fields can be defined from the ECDMS Search Filters page. Multiple output fields can be selected. After making your selections, click the Export Excel button to open and view the report. The output fields will be rendered alphabetically, regardless of the order in which they were selected. You can share this report from the ECDMS Search Filters page. To do this, click the Share Report button. A unique URL will populate the associated address bar. This URL will be automatically copied to your clipboard and may now be shared with other collaborators. 
The URL will render the same query that you designed. Recipients will need to click the Export Excel button to download and display a copy of the dataset. 